Hello. Welcome. Another edition of that's railroad where, where we bring the railroad to you. And <laughs> we love doing it too. <laughs> okay, we're up here on uh, curve uh, two and uh, we're going to replace some rail. Uh, this is actually four days after, five days after uh, we actually did replace the rail. So uh, a lot of questions I've gotten in the past on how do you bend rail. You know, all of our rail comes in in uh, straight sticks. And then when we go in a curve, we've got to actually bend the rail to fit the curve radius. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we do that today. And uh, answer a lot of questions a couple of different ways we can do it. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, it's cold out here. And uh, we actually got some snow here. It's November 13th. Okay, it was pouring down rain when we were uh, doing, putting these rails together. And we had a, I had a train coming up track, so I didn't have a lot of time. And you know, I, a lot of my videos I make on my cell phone. And you hold the cell phone out there and it gets the screen gets all wet and it won't do nothing. I had an awful time with it. <laughs> so I didn't get a whole lot of footage of that, but I will show you how we do this. Alrighty. <laughs> okay. So let's get turned around and get the, get right into the show today. Yeah. degree curve this is actually the sharpest degree curve we've got we changed this rail and the one down there are Sperry rails Sperry rail is a rail that has a internal defect so you can imagine when we lay this stick in here it's going to go straight now what we got to do is get and bend that rail to match the tie plates so we'll take the old rail out and uh, We'll leave the tie plates in place, so we got a guide. Okay, uh, most all rail for freight railroads is, when they buy it, it's straight rail. And uh, now they do make some curved rail. It's called pre-bent or pre-curved rail for transit, some transits. Some transits got some insane degree of curvature, so that some of that does come pre-bent. All right, first I got to show you, uh, we're here right behind the prep plant. Uh, this is a slate bar. This is what they use underground to uh, chip away, chip slate away off the roof or the, or the ribs. And it's got a real sharp, pointy edge in it. Okay, and I'll show you a little bit. Uh, I like this. Some people use a lining bar. The lining bar has a little bit of a bigger tip on it than this. The lining bar is a little heavier also. Uh, but that's what a lining bar is actually made for. But I like to use the slate bars. Anyway, let's get down here. We got this uh, latest stick of rail in here and it's going out this way. So what I'll do is wherever I can get the first my lining bar down into the first hole on my tie plate then I will start I'll get it in there and start to pry it over as I pry it over they're spiking back here to hold that in place and then I'll move down a couple more ties get whatever hole I can get here's a hole and keep prying it over work my way now it's not real hard for uh, rail to get bent actually in the lower degree curves and when it's fairly warm out one guy can bend the rail by himself if it's cold out and we get a sharp degree curve it's going to take two or three guys on your bars bending the rail over so it all depends on the degree of curvature and the ambient temperature on how much how many people is required to bend that rail over. So I think you got a good picture of that now. How we do it. <laughs> uh, we were lucky we had a grapple truck here. 
So the grapple truck actually got between the rails and pushed this uh, in place here. So that helped. But like I said, in the absence of a grapple truck, if I just had my boom truck here, I can't do that. So we've got to do it by hand. Another little tool, that homemade tool we've got that uh, we've yet to use, but we have it in case we can put this in a bolt hole and uh, through the rail, tighten this up a little bit, put a chain in here, run the chain over to the opposite rail, put a come along, and we can actually pull that rail in uh, if we need to, if we, if we can't get it with the bars. All right. So we're going to get right, uh, we'll get you, like I said, uh, I didn't get a lot of chance to, always in a sloppy, sloppy, pouring down rain, all this slop. It was not a fun day. But uh, I always like to come back and uh, check things out after they've run a train or two over new rail, make sure everything's all right. Okay, so we'll show you some clips of uh, what I was able to get. All righty. We'll be back with more. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> That's railroading. Okay, this is one way. We're getting a curve here. It's actually a 14 degree curve. This is what people want to know how to bend the rail. If we don't have this available, we can get it all the way. I'll put this sleep bar down in here. And pry it over. And then we spike behind us, and that's how we bend rail. Hey, you know we gotta take that bottom piece of rail out. We gotta take that section of rail out, piece of rail, stick of rail. I wanted to show you the split in there. I thought I was videoing and I wasn't. Take on it. didn't start raining until we started changing this rail out here. We got to work from one side or the other. Okay, here we go. We got this joint bar in. We've got it. Let's see what I do is come along here with this bar and then I'll pry it over into place like that. Thank <laughs> you. 
up here in Tampa this next weekend. Uh, I don't know if it's going to hold with all that slop in there or not. It wasn't bad that we got two inches of rain yesterday. down here at curve 11 this is the rail I broke with the tamper put a link in the description so you can watch that video and uh, put that rail in now we're gonna change this one up here right next to it that heads all messed up and there we go okay so get rid of this I showed you that in the other video that out of there. I got some help today with uh, another contractor, GW Peoples. They're out of 84 PA. They've been uh, helping us here last couple weekends. Stand back. Well, there you go, we got her in. Everything looks pretty nice. Got her anchors on, everything spiked down, and uh, I didn't have much time to tape, I'm sorry. We, uh, we've got a train down there dumping and they're uh, running pretty good coal and we we had, I, I didn't have time to sit around and tape. I had to get busy, get, uh, get this rail put in. So there you have it. Okay. Looking good. Looking real good. We'll be back with more.